first of all, I want to plug a channel. It belongs to a friend of ours. The channel is called Echoes of History. Make sure you check it out. It's got a number of shorts on there about, obviously, history. So if you're a history buff, you may well appreciate the content on this channel. Make sure you check it out. There's a link in the description. Echoes of History, go over there and subscribe, all you history buffs. Following on from the video I did about Mike Tyson the other day, where I asked the question in the comments, will his record ever be broken? That record being the youngest man ever to have captured a version of the world heavyweight title at the age of 20. Now, most people were saying that, no, it will never be broken. Other people were saying it will be broken eventually, but no time soon. Now, this young man on screen right here, who goes by the name of Moses Ituma, it's spelled Itumo here in the title on this video, but if you look at his box rec and some of his fights on YouTube, it's spelled with an A at the end. So I'm going to call him Moses Ituma. Now, he came onto my radar very recently because Shane McGuigan was singing his praises in an interview. He said he's had him in for sparring with Daniel Dubois and he's been holding his own at the age of 17 with Dubois. So I took a look at him. You can see some of his amateur fights on YouTube. He's six foot five, again, just 17 years of age. He's fast, he's fluid, and he does seem like a real talent, just like Shane McGuigan was saying in the interviews. And he appears to have some power there as well. So this potentially, if he decides to turn pro early, see, there's a thing that I didn't mention in that Mike Tyson video. It was Customato's intention for Tyson to be the youngest heavyweight champion in history. Of course, he guided Floyd Patterson to being the youngest heavyweight champion in history before Tyson. You see, so he made it the objective to get Tyson to the title as quickly as possible at this very, very young age. And he had him fighting an incredible number of times. Tyson, during his first year as a pro, for, what was it, 20 times or something? It was something crazy. Or maybe it was a bit less than 15 times or something. But he fought an incredible amount of times in his first year as a pro, and even in the second year. So by the time he fought Trevor Burbick for the title, he had nearly 30 fights in two years, you know? So they moved him at a tremendous pace. With this individual, Ituma, they would have to do the same thing. They would have to make it their objective, whoever signed him as a pro, they would have to make it their objective to try and break Mike Tyson's record. But based upon his talent and his potential, and what he's shown at the age of 17, if he was moved in the right way, and if they had the right opportunities, he's someone that could potentially at least challenge for Tyson's record, or you know, attempt to break Tyson's record. He's someone who could do it, based upon what I've seen. So if you haven't seen him fight before, if this is the first time you've heard it, I'm sure some of you knew about him long before I did, right? But for those of you who didn't, you should definitely check him out. Go and have a look at his fights. To me, he looks very talented, <laughs> and it's going to be very interesting to see what he can do in the seniors. Of course, at the age of 17, maybe he's going to wait for the next Olympic cycle, because if he was to turn pro now, he's unlikely to get the kind of money that he would get if he can, let's say, win a gold medal at the Olympics or a silver medal. Then he would be offered a much more lucrative contract. And this is something I explained in that Mike Tyson video. This is one of the reasons that so many amateurs stay amateur for longer because not only can they secure a nice pro contract if they you know, get enough medals or the right medals, but in the meantime, they're actually getting paid to be an amateur in a lot of cases. You know, they're getting money and sponsorships and endorsements and all this kind of thing. So uh, yeah, just thought I'd give my take on this individual, Moses Atuma. Looks a very, very promising prospect. Make sure you check him out if you haven't done so already, all right?